Horticos. Welcome back to our channel Horticos World. Today we will learn about the topic on introduction to major field crops. If you are here for the first time, check our playlist and do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. In this video, we will go through these contents. Classification and distribution of field crops. Definitions and concept of multiple cropping, mixed cropping, intercropping, relay and alley cropping, crop rotation. The classification of field crops is necessary to know the adaptation, habitat, life cycle, nutrient requirement, insect pest and disease reaction of crops, so that an appropriate production technology could be developed and adopted for maximum productivity at minimum cost. Crop plants are grouped into three main classes according to the range of cultivation. They are as follows. Garden crops, crop plants that are grown on a small scale in gardens such as kitchen gardens, flower gardens, and backyard gardens. Plantation crops, crop plants that are grown on a larger scale on estates. They are perennial or permanent in nature. Field crops, crop plants that are grown on a vast scale, which are mostly seasonal. And among these three classes, agronomy deals with field crops only. Field crops are classified in many ways. According to economic or agrarian or agricultural classification or classification according to use of crop plants and their products, field crops are classified as follows. Cereals, rice, wheat, maj and sorghum. Pulses, red gram, Bengal gram, black gram, green gram and cowpea. All seeds, groundnut, castor, sesame, sunflower, safflower and sorbine. Fiber crops, cotton. Sugar crops, sugar cane. Fodder crops, bursine, lucerne, stylo, hybrid napier, para grass and anjan grass. Green manure crops, sunhem, dancha and pili pesra. And next, cropping system. The cropping patterns used on a farm and their interaction with farm resources, other farm enterprises, and available technology which determine their makeup. It includes Crops Crop sequences Management techniques and Period of time Cropping system comprises all components required for the production of a particular crop and the interrelationships between them and environment. In the cropping systems, sometimes a number of crops are grown together or they are grown separately at short intervals in the same field. And then, cropping pattern. The yearly sequence and spatial arrangement of crops and fallow on a given area. Historically, cropping systems have been designed to maximize yield, but modern agriculture is increasingly concerned with promoting environmental sustainability in cropping systems. Future ecology is more important than present economy. Here are some types of agriculture, as follows. Subsistence type of agriculture, it has low level equilibrium. An objective is to sustain life and family need with low input and output. Then, commercial farming, it has high level equilibrium, and its objective is to obtain high income with high input and output. Next, sustainable type of agriculture related to natural or ecological equilibrium, its objective is to maintain ecological balance with low input and high output. Now, let us know the basic principles of cropping systems, as follows. Systems should be complement to each other. Crops and a cropping rotation should utilize the available resources efficiently. And to maintain and enhance the soil fertility. To understand the diversity of growth cycle. And choose a diverse species of crops. Then, keep the soil covered. And strategically plan and modify the cropping system as needed. Classification of cropping system depending on the resources and technology available. 
Different types of cropping systems are adopted on farms. Sole cropping or monoculture. Then, intensive cropping is of two types, multiple cropping and intercropping. Next, sequential cropping and crop rotation. Monocropping or solid planting. This is where the field is used to grow only one crop season after season. Also known as solid planting or repetitive growing of the same crop on the same land. Encourages pests, diseases and weeds. It can reduce the soil fertility and damage the soil structure. Next, multiple cropping. Growing two or more crops on the same field in a year. Annual and perennial plants can be organized in fields together. It is a form of polyculture. Its limiting factors are low intensity of irrigation, long duration varieties, fertility. Examples are tomatoes with onions and marigold. Here the marigolds repel some tomato pests. Now, intercropping. Cultivation of two or more crops simultaneously on the same field, with or without a row arrangement, row intercropping or mixed cropping. There is intercrop competition during all or part of crop growth. It is further subdivided as Mixed intercropping Row intercropping Strip intercropping Relay intercropping In mixed intercropping Growing two or more crops simultaneously with no distinct row arrangement. Also referred to as mixed cropping. For example, sorghum, pearl millet and cowpea are mixed and broadcasted in rain-fed conditions. And in strip intercropping. Growing two or more crops simultaneously in strips wide enough to permit independent cultivation but narrow enough for the crops to interact agronomically. For example, groundnut and red gram are cropped at ratio 6 is to 4 in a strip. Then next, row intercropping. In this, growing of two or more crops simultaneously where one or more crops are planted in rows. And often simply referred as intercropping. Examples are, match with green gram. Match with black gram in equal ratios and Groundnut with red gram in 6 is to 1 ratio. Now, main crop or base crop. This is planted at its optimum sole crop population in an intercrop situation, and the second crop is planted in between rows of the main crop or base crop for extra yield without sacrificing the main crop yield. Then, component crop. Refers to either of the individual crop in intercropping situation. Before continuing, dear friends, it takes lot of efforts by our team to compile the information and present in a simple way in single video. So, if you guys find our efforts useful, then please support us by like, sharing this video, and don't forget to subscribe and get notified for more informative content. Let's get back to the topic. And now, relay cropping or overlapping cropping. In this, growing of two or more crops simultaneously during the part of the life cycle of each. A second crop is planted after the first crop has reached its reproductive stage of growth, but before it is ready for harvest. Examples of crop sequence are like mashed potato followed by radish planting. Nursery crop before harvest of main crop. So next, Yara in Bihar and West Bengal or Uttera in Madhya Pradesh type of cropping. In this, sowing of lathyrus or lentil before harvesting of rice in low land areas is done. As tillage is not possible. Yara cropping in succession constitute relay cropping. It requires 1.5 times more seed rate and 15 to 20 days before harvesting of paddy can be done. Also cultivated in Rabi season. Now, let us see the advantages and disadvantages of intercropping. Firstly, the advantages of intercropping are Biodiversity and stability Increased yield 
Maintenance of Soil Fertility Fodder and Manure Soil Cover Risk Spreading and Food Security Weed Control Microclimate Physical Support Pest and Diseases Control Utilization of Labor And then, disadvantages of intercropping are Mechanized planting and harvesting are difficult Difficult to apply needed fertilizers Chemical weed control may be difficult It is labor intensive Experimentation with intercropping is more complex and difficult to manage than with soil cropping Allelopathic effects may be present What are prerequisites for intercropping? Time of peak nutrient supply demands should not overlap Competition for light should be minimum. Complementarity between component crops. Difference in maturity time at least 30 days. Competition for carbon dioxide and water should also be minimum. Let's know about the sequential cropping or also called as non-overlapping cropping. Yeah, growing two or more crops in a sequence on the same field in a farming year. The succeeding crop is planted after the preceding or previous crop has been harvested. Crop intensification is only in time dimension. There is no intercrop competition. Ratoon cropping is also a form of sequential cropping. Double cropping, in which growing of two crops in a year, in sequence is done. Triple cropping, in which growing of three crops in a year, in sequence is done. Quadruple cropping, in which growing of four crops in a year in sequence is done. Next, alley cropping. Alley cropping is planting of two or more sets of single or multiple rows of trees or shrubs at wide spacing, creating alleyways within which agricultural, horticultural, or forage crops are cultivated. Benefits of alley cropping are Can diversify farm enterprise helps to reduce erosion and improve water quality to protect crops and also enhance wildlife improve aesthetics then next what is crop rotation crop rotation is defined as the system of growing different kinds of crops in recurrent successions on the same land one cycle may take one or more farming years to complete for irrigated areas one farming year is done. The main object is to get maximum profit from least investment without impairing soil fertility. And now, principles of crop rotation. For tap roots, fibrous roots crops it require uniform utilization of nutrients. Legumes followed by non-legumes crop rotation is done. More exhaustive crops are potato, maize, sugar cane, and less exhaustive are wool, moon, and minor millets. Crops of same family should not be grown in successions. Erosion promoting and erosion resisting. Low lying areas are tolerant to water stagnation. Useful for farmer financial situation along with soil and climatic situations. It is always demand based. Examples for crop rotation are Rice followed by madge or wheat Sorghum crop rotation with safflower Pearl millet with black gram Sesame and Bengal gram Wheat with mustard Maize crop rotation can be done by safflower, wheat, potato or barley And dear friends, it takes so much efforts by our team to present such useful content which is useful for students who are preparing for different competitive exams. If you find this video informative, then please subscribe, like and share with your friends. Any kind of suggestions are welcomed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, click on bell icon, wait for more videos. Till then take care.